Haven is headed southward through the Pacific at a speed of 33 knots. The Missouri is falling behind at a rate of about two nautical miles every hour. Can't this thing go any faster? I'm afraid not. This is as fast as she'll go. Liquid's target is JD, a U.S. military satellite disguised as orbital debris. Uh. Haven will have to surface in order to use the railgun. If we can figure out JD's orbit. <clears throat> there. We should be able to predict where Haven's gonna surface. <clears throat> JD is in a synchronous elliptical orbit, so its next perigee should be in. Uh... Oh. Got it! 15 hours, 6 minutes, and 12 seconds. Right. In 15 hours, it's going to be over the Bering Sea, 494 nautical miles from the Bering Strait. Haven knows it, too. They'll be holding position in that area. Do they really have to get that close to launch? The nukes fired by Rex's railgun have a damage radius of approximately 300 meters. The target is a moving satellite that's traveling at 10 kilometers per second. To get the precision they need, they have to get as close as they possibly can. Liquid won't launch his nuke until JD is at perigee. The Missouri can use that time to catch up. Will we make it? Once Haven stops moving, it'll take us an hour to close the gap. After that, the Missouri needs to strike before Haven's launch preparations are complete. This ship was stripped of most of its equipment and she's got no electronic warfare capabilities of any kind. No radar, no high-tech weaponry. We'll have to rely on our own eyes to track the enemy. From the looks of it, Haven is going to use a railgun mounted on the bridge to destroy JD. You'll need to open the cover to launch the nuke. That's our one and only chance to get inside. Inside? Why can't we attack it from here? It wouldn't do any good. As long as Liquid has control of the system, physically destroying GW would still leave supreme authority in his hands. Sons of the Patriots. Yes, Dr. Emmerich is right. That's why we need to destroy GW from the inside before attacking Haven itself. Hmm. Liquid's very own Death Star. All right, everybody, here's the plan. We know Haven will have to surface in order to fire the railgun. When it does, the Missouri will see it. We'll make a quick approach and deliver a strike team. Our goal is twofold. Prevent that nuke from launching and wipe out GW's programming. The enemy relies entirely on electronic means of threat detection. So they won't be able to see the Missouri until they surface. Akiba. <laughs> we'll launch the strike team from catapults at the exact moment Haven's armored cover opens. They'll then penetrate GW's physical server room and infect it with a worm cluster. But what if they shut down GW before we get in there? Liquid is already entrenched within the Patriots network. He needs to stay there, or destroying JD won't serve him any purpose. They can't afford to have GW shut down. And let's not forget, Liquid will throw everything he's got at stopping the strike team. Exactly. The corridor leading to GW is defended by directed energy weapons that emit certain types of microwaves. Did you say microwaves? That's right. And at that frequency, the waves will start to evaporate any living person within range. A giant microwave oven. You'd have to have a death wish to go in there. Sounds like the perfect job for me. Snake, this isn't the time for your stupid jokes. Outside the corridor, liquid soldiers will be out in full force. Inside, there'll be unmanned weapons waiting for us. Where are you getting all this information? You really think there's a way to destroy GW? <coughs> yes. 
I do. She... left us something that'll point us in the right direction. Naomi helped with the preparations to stop Haven's launch. Naomi? All of our internal data on Haven came from her. The reason she got on the Nomad with us in the first place was to get close to me. But she ended up turning to Sunny instead. What do you mean? She left her plan in Sunny's hands. This entire operation is based on the data she left us. <coughs> Whose side was she on anyway? never know exactly what her true intentions were. But one thing's for sure. She was determined to stop Liquid. Come on, guys. Somebody say something positive. Anything. Attention! Listen up! A wise man once wrote, The tongues of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Where words are spent, they are seldom spent in vain. <sighs> Any other questions? <clears throat> yes, Snake? Everybody got a smoke. Snake. This is my first real engagement. I see. Your point? At first, getting assigned to this ship was a big letdown for me. But the inaction was kind of a relief, too. Captain... I... I'm scared. It's okay. I'm scared, too. This is also my first time. But I'm not going to let it get to me. Because I'm more scared of what'll happen if I run away. Nobody is going to die on my watch. This ship is going back to Hawaii in one piece. That, I promise. Right. Thank you.
Where is he? He'll live. But he's in no shape to fight. Best to let him rest. Right. Without the system to protect them, everybody's losing their nerve. They say SOP's after effects are so bad that a lot of soldiers are deserting. The only people I have left to rely on are Merrill and him. Kind of an unknown quantity, isn't he? I hooked him up with a 9-ID M82. Fancy meeting you here. What are you doing here? I laundered these guys' IDs, then issued them new naked weapons. Including that catapult you're gonna be riding. Business has been slow ever since Liquid got his hands on the system. His extra orders stopped coming in. Ugh. Now that all the weapons all over the world are locked, the only ones still looking to fight would be you and yours. They tell me it's not economical to replace all that useless equipment on the battlefield with my stuff. So I made an extra special trip out here, just for you. Driven, do you even have the slightest idea what's going on here? Of course I do. <laughs> See, when it comes down to it, the world's like this soda here. Once the bubbles are gone, I ain't got no use for it. It's worth nothing. I'm on the side of whoever needs me the most. You dig? If you need anything, just say the word. I'm setting up shop here for a spell. Enjoy it. Could be your last. It is. I'm all out. Looks like that last smoke will have to wait after all. Later. Hey. Here. Huh? Oh. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Over there. There. Snake, can you hear me? Liquid's warship, Outer Haven, is a modified version of an Arsenal gear model stolen from the Patriots. Inside, it's crawling with Irving and other unmanned weapons. According to Naomi's data, Haven is crewed by a battalion of enhanced soldiers, each called from the best the PMCs have to offer. If Liquid succeeds in destroying JD and gaining control of the Patriot system, he'll make Haven his flagship, and his PMCs will spread like wildfire across the globe. And then... Mankind's armed subjugation will begin. Captain, Haven sighted. Prepare to fire, main gun! <laughs>
duty. Remember, no matter what happens, I'll be with you till the very end. You are my pride and joy. exposed. There it is. A naked nuke. Let's finish it, Snake. Let this be our last battle. If we're responsible for liquid sins, then the onus is ours to bear. Right. Moving to intercept! Maintain full speed! Failure will spell doom for the human race. You've got to stop them from using that railgun. Then annihilate GW.
Meryl.
world's greatest mind reader and psychokinesis. I'll start by reading your personality and rather your past. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Johnny!
Meryl! Johnny! Johnny, you're all right! Here. Huh. You trying to make up for being late? Meryl. I'll never leave you alone again. Shadow Moses, when I first laid eyes on you. Meryl, marry me. You've got a hell of a sense of timing. What do you say? I have to say, no. You'd rather stay single? Okay, but we don't have to make it official. No. Well, how about we just move in together then? Nope. do things my way. Johnny. Marry me. Huh? I'll say it again. <laughs> Marry me. Sure. It'd be my pleasure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Snake? Snake!
worm is still spreading. And it's not stopping at GW. Is it removing the other clones? No. Wait. I don't believe this. Naomi. What is it? JD is being erased! Snake! Wait here! I'll get a medic! Rise and shine, Snake. Look, the war is over. Why? You, you could have stopped us. I stopped you. Why would I want to do that? This is just as I'd hoped things would end. Back before Father's time, before Zero gave birth to the Patriots. The US, China, and the Soviet Union formed a secret pact. Free from Fox Die. Free from the system. Free from ID control. Our minds free from their prisons. That is the haven I've yearned for.
beginning, Snake. America will descend into chaos. It'll be the Wild West all over again. No law, no order. This fire will spread across the world. The people will fight. And through battle, they will know the fullness of life. At last, our Father's will is out of heaven. Is complete. <sighs> Sonny's program destroyed JD's brain, but left the brain stem intact. She analyzed Naomi's black box and separated the Patriot's control system from the vital lifelines of society. Water, air, electricity, food, medicine, communication, transportation. She cut off the Patriot's control while preserving modern civilization. Maybe it was her way of avenging Olga, her mother. Or maybe she wanted to shape the future into her own ideal image. Or maybe it was just one big defragmentation. Fox alive. The AI is truly living thing. The Patriot's reign has crumbled away. And still, our civilization, a civilization that has thrived on war since the dawn of time, lives on. I wonder if we did the right thing. Naomi. What did we lose? What did we say? Congratulations.
Colonel. You're going to walk me down the aisle. You're not angry anymore. Oh, I'm still mad. But now, you've got a chance to win me over. here today to join these two in holy matrimony. Let us give thanks for the life they will soon share. And pray they have love everlasting. Now, let's all send this new team on their first mission. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, huh? go on, do it. I... Oh, oh. <clears throat> Just in time. Dragon. And I brought gifts. A shower of flowers, compliments of Drebin. And a little something extra for me.
Where's Snake? Uh, who knows? That guy always keeps you waiting. changed. Our time has ended. Our war is over. But there's one more thing I must do. punishment I must endure. Erase my genes. Wipe this meme from the face of the earth. This is my final mission.
let it go. My son. I'm not here to fight. Or should I call you brother? What? It's over. Time for you to put aside the gun and live. Zero and I, liquid and solidus, we all fought a long, bloody war for our liberty. We fought to free ourselves from nations and systems and norms and ages. But no matter how hard we tried, the only liberty we found was on the inside trapped within those limits. The boss and I may have chosen different paths, but in the end, we were both trapped inside the same cage. Liberty. Oh! But you, you have been given freedom. Freedom to be outside. You are nobody's tool now. No one's toy. You are no longer a prisoner of fate. You are no longer a seed of war. Oh, it's time. 
time for you to see the outside world with your own eyes. Your body and your soul are your own. Forget about us. Live for yourself.
Snake, wait up. You forgot these. Hmm. No thanks. I'm quitting. Snake? These things will kill you. Where will you go? Our fight is finished. There's nothing left for us to do. No. There's one thing I still have to do. I have to see this age off. See what the future brings. It sounds good to me. I'll go with you. Huh. Otacron. I'm gonna be dead soon. You don't have to come. You said it yourself, Snake. There's nothing inside you can pass on to the next generation. No genes, no memes. You're man-made. You're a beast. I know. A blue rose. There won't be any happy Beauty and the Beast ending for me. What little time I have left will be spent living as a beast. A shadow of the inside. Of the old age. Exactly. That's why you need me. As a witness. A witness? Yeah. Someone on the outside to bear witness to your final days. Someone to pass on your story. Not that I'm the only witness. But I'll remember everything you were and stick with you to the end. Otacon. Besides, you wouldn't let me suffer Sonny's eggs alone, would you? Rising 